Let's talk setup. So this is standard bobber, what we'd call bobber dogging. I don't know what, what you call it from where you're from, but this is a bobber dog setup. And basically, whoop, let me get this going here. It is a yarn ball, a little bit of eggs, got another line tied up to it, goes about a foot, and it goes to a plastic bead, and that plastic bead I like to run about two inches, inch and a half, two inches above my hook, so that's essentially it. I'm running two split shot or two uh, a two split shot slinky off of a quarter. I could cut this down a little bit if I wanted to, but uh, a lot of people will cut the bobber in half. And when they do that, they fish a little bit heavier weight, and the bobber and it helps push the push the weight on down. Uh, I don't do it. I gen I haven't noticed too much of a difference. Some people swear by it, and so, I mean, if it works for you, there you go. We're going to flip out off the edge of the seam. i got to watch that tree, and then we're going to let that thing come, come back. Now, when you're on your drift boat, you can, what they call knead, the line back up the water, and you want that to where you're just barely touching. Just where it's just ticking and uh, a little bit just just a touch slower than what the current is if you go any heavier than that you're bouncing bottom the idea of it is is that you want to present your tackle as naturally flowing down the current as it as you can 